This book inspires you to stand up against your parents when they are wrong. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I'm going to talk about this awesome book, Wonderland, by Barbara O'Connor herself, author of Wish and How to Steal a Dog. Sometimes the friends you've always wanted are found in the most unlikely places. Let's get right on to it. Barbara O'Connor. She has been the author of many beloved books, the How to Steal a Dog and Wish, which I have a book cluster for. And, well, if you want to search it up, go ahead. And let's continue on with this awesome review. You see, the main character is Mavis Jeter, and she moves around. Every year, she moves so much. And her mother seems to be never happy in one place. And her mother always hates the job that she takes and always says, Mavis, May May, I think that this time it's going to be better. But it never is. And that's the life that Mavis has lived for all her life, all her life. A moving, a constantly moving, no best friend life. And this time she was determined to have a best friend. And that best friend will be Rose. Rosie. Rose Tully, basically. Our dear Rose Tully is a warrior, always being bullied by her mother and neighbors. For they thought the things she did was all very childish. And she was just a baby. And these unlikely pair, the warrior and the adventurer, meets and they become best friends. Their mission? To make our dear Mr. Duffy, who had been Rose's best friend, an old man who was the gatekeeper and who hadn't been himself without his dog, Queen. He has his soul is being down and he is, every day he talks about how his time on the earth is almost at the end. And he tells his, his wife to warm the cup of coffee on top of heaven, Mr. Duffy. He hasn't been himself. The jolly old Mr. Duffy running around, playing chords, playing games. Our dear vibrant Mr. Duffy was gone. Now, without his dog, he was never himself. Which was why Mavis and Rose had solved this enormous problem. They heard of a stray dog named Henry, who was hiding in the woods. Could they get our dear Henry out and give it and convince Mr. Duffy to love the dog and cure Mr. Duffy of this terrible sickness? Only time can tell. And the thing is, Rose is really bullied by her mother, who every day tells her to play with Amanda and all the other kids in the neighborhood, who calls her names and thinks of her as childish and babyish. And her mother, and she's too afraid to say that to her mother. And her mother, who doesn't know it, just presses her on to play with the, her friends. And, well, sometimes you really do have to stand against your parents, especially when they got the facts wrong, or it's really wrong what they're doing, at least, at least if you think so. And Rose couldn't do that, but because of Mavis's influence, she was able to stand up against her mother to tell her to stop making her try to go to Amanda, who is a bossy, annoying person who calls her names, and all the other, her, all the other kids in the neighborhood, and she manages to say that bravely, new Rose, a no longer a warrior to her mother. And this is an awesome book that does tell you, that does make you think that sometimes you do have to stand up against her mother, well, well for parents, like, generally. 
And our dear Barbara O'Connor has written several books. Wish. With a little luck, you can get what you wish for, Barbara O'Connor. This was also a very awesome book. And one thing they have in common? Well, why don't you figure that, that out for yourselves? Look at the covers. Wish. How to steal a dog. Wonderland. You see now, they all have something to do with dogs. Quite a fun little officer, isn't she? About dogs and warmth and happiness. And at, at the final, the, usually the character finds a piece inside her mind of all the problems he or she had. Great book. Makes you think, really, do I have to stand up to my parents sometimes? And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester.